The race to three billion is over. Luis Fonsi's Spanish language hit Despacito is now the leader in views on YouTube and is continuing to increase in popularity despite currently pulling in more than 100 million views per week. While the title has certainly grabbed the top spot, Gangnam Style was a unique phenomenon undisputed in its race to the top now and likely for all time. Open Gangnam Style. After five years as the undisputed king of the roost, Gangnam Style was upstaged as the most watched YouTube video uh, last month by Wiz Khalifa's 2015 release, See You Again. Today, the number one spot has changed again to a video released in January of 2017, averaging 14.7 million views a day over its 204 day tenure on YouTube. Gangnam Style took the world by storm in its initial release. The cult hit reached 1 billion views in only 160 days, beating out tracks that had been uploaded years before and quickly ascending to the heights of 12 million views per day in its first two months on YouTube. But unlike its more modern competitors, the hit from Psy was not a routine staple in the musical consumption of millions. It became popular through its unique imagery in a way that nothing else has since. At the time it was released in July of 2012, Gangnam Style was an outlier. After hitting the 1 billion view milestone in December of 2012, it took nearly 16 months for another contender to reach that milestone, and the track that achieved the feat wasn't a new one. Justin Bieber's slow growth of views on Baby, released in 2010, hit the 1 billion hours milestone after 1,472 days on the site, nearly 10 times longer than Gangnam Style. In the modern era, of course, things have started growing faster. See You Again crossed the 1 billion view threshold in just 184 days, the first meaningful challenger for the title of fastest to 1 billion, missing the mark of Gangnam Style by just 24 days. But Despacito puts both to shame, crossing the finish line in just 98 days. And 2017's hits don't stop there. Ed Sheeran's Shape of You is likely to cross 2 billion views in just in the next two days and hit 1 billion in just over 100 days. These new 2017 tracks show YouTube's established role as a destination site for music being the go-to place for many to watch or listen to the videos that those from an older generation might have gotten from MTV or the radio. These tracks are both continuing to hold strong daily viewership patterns, with Shape of You continuing to pick up more than 9 million views a day, and Despacito continuing to average more than 20 million a day. But as impressive as all these modern competitors are, it's worth taking Gangnam Style in the historical context in which it was released and looking at it from a different perspective. Not just of how many days it took to reach a certain goal, like 1 billion views, but of how much of YouTube's ecosystem it was and how it created a cultural movement among users of YouTube. In order to do that, we have to look at how popular Gangnam Style was relative to the overall viewership of YouTube at the time. YouTube has routinely reported 50% growth at VidCon. It happened in 2014, it happened in 2015, and from my reading of it, it happened in years leading up to that as well. And while I don't know the specifics of YouTube, how YouTube growth has continued to work out, I think we can use this as an approximate baseline to easily explain the perceived success of Gangnam Style among longtime YouTube users. Since YouTube grows its views by 50% per year and has since 2012, we can look at how a video in 2012 would look relative to a video in 2017. Taking a straight 50% growth in view count per year and compounding it, a billion views in 20 2012 is an incredibly fast compared to the same in 2017. 1 billion views in 2012 would be, as a portion of the total user base of the site, more like 1.5 billion views in 2013. In 2014, the year of Enrique Iglesias Bailando, achieving the same feat would be similar to reaching 2.25 billion views. In 2015, achieving a similar feat would be something like 3.4 billion views, which CU again still hasn't done two years later. In 2016, a 50% increase would lead to 5 billion views being the similar target, and in 2017, to match the relative popularity on YouTube that Gangnam Style had, one would need to reach 7.6 billion views in just 160 days, which the most popular videos on the site today still haven't reached much more than 160 days after their release. Gangnam Style was released at a time when the music industry on YouTube was nowhere near what it is today. It was released when the entire platform was likely seven times less popular than it is today, and its achievement of reaching 1 billion views in 160 days at a time when the YouTube platform was so small means that it did something absolutely unique. 
something which has never been repeated. It effectively defined the entire YouTube platform for a period of months during its meteoric rise. Like the Stratos Red Bull livestream in the same year, setting a webcast livestream concurrent viewership record of 8.5 million viewers, which is still far from challenged, Gangnam Style did something that was unbelievable at the time. Reaching a billion views within 160 days required taking the entirety of YouTube by storm, as well as much of the internet. Now, YouTube and the internet have grown since then, and because of the overall growth, we will continue to see new records be smashed going forward. Next year, we'll have a new track in and smash the record to 1 billion again, beating the respectable 98-day count that Despacito came out with. But that will stem from YouTube's continued growth. It will stem from the progression toward an ever-larger audience, and while the numbers will get larger, it seems unlikely we're ever going to see something again like Gangnam Style, where the entire community is overtaken by a singular obsession. As the YouTube community has grown, as the content has become more diverse, the chances of a single viral hit reaching the same level of penetration has just dropped. Yes, Despacito is the most viewed video on YouTube. Yes, it reached 3 billion views first, but it hasn't even come close to replacing Gangnam Style as a cultural force despite those bigger numbers. And most likely, nothing ever will.